Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to build this little slider here but we're going to use online images to do it with so we're not actually uploading anything to our media files. Now of course I'm using the Divi theme here if you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and enable my visual builder so we can build on the front end. And once it's loaded, I'm going to go down and I'm going to delete what we've got going on here. Just hit the little trash can icons and same with the row. I'm going to start from scratch. Okay, so we've got a row here. We've got a section here. We've got to add a row. One column. In that row, I'm going to go down and put a slider module. There we go. And there it is. It's popped it in by default. It puts two default slides in there. But I want mine to be full screen or full width. So I'm just going to hit the check mark on that a minute. I'm going to go to my row settings. And in the row, I'm going to hit the cog. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to make the width 100%. And I'm also going to copy and paste 100% in max width just below it. There we go. And as you can see, that's made our slider full width there, real easy. Uh, we've got a bit of space top and bottom. So let's just go into our spacing and we'll probably have to do this on the section. Make sure we've got no margin or padding top and bottom. Just going to put zeros in, hit the checkbox. It'll do the opposite for you. Zero. That took away a little bit. Looks like we got some on the actual section itself, which is right here. Do the same thing with there. Go in there to design and to spacing and put some zeros in. There we go. That's taken away all that spacing. We've got our slider butted up against the nav bar and the footer there because we haven't got any other content. OK, let's just save that. Let's go back into our module now and decide what we want to do. So we've got two slides. This is our first slide. Second slide, I've got a feeling it's going to look exactly the same. Yeah, it is. OK, let's work on the first slide. Hit the little cog there. When we're in the slide settings, let's scroll down to background. And you've got color, gradient, image and video. I want to use image, but I'm going to leave the color in place. You'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to click on the image and hit the background image. It's going to open up your media library as usual as you would to add an image from your library but we want to insert one from a URL online so just left click on the insert from URL just below the choose a background image and there's a box to choose your, your URL. For this today I'm going to go to a popular free stock photo site called unsplash.com it's great if you want free stock photos I'm going to do a search for something I guess we'll do uh, landscape. usually get something colorful with that. Yeah, I like that one. And you see when I hover over an image, it's got a little plus icon on it for a magnifying glass. Click on that, left click, and it'll open in a light box. Now if you right click, you can copy the image address. Now I'm using, using Google Chrome here. Most browsers do this, but if you have a trouble, just download Google Chrome and it, it, it'll do it that way. Now I've copied that address, we can go back to our little URL box up there and paste it in. There we go. And there's our image. Let's insert it into the post. There we go. We've got that nice background image in our post. Now, if you remember, I left our background color in there, the default blue. You can put any color in your light because I'm going to blend it with the image so that we can read our text a bit better. And here we are. Here's the blend modes. Play with these, you can get some great effects. I'm just going to do multiply. There we go. Now you can read the text and see the button. And you've also got this interesting landscape in the background. I like that. Although adding images from the web seems like fun and you can add just about any image you can see if you want to, think about it because if you don't trust or if you don't own the site that you're getting these images for and they change it and move that image, you're going to lose your slider. For most places like Unsplash, you're usually pretty safe. On the plus side, it does load quicker than uh, locally 
images and won't slow your speed the speed of your site down as much as having your images locally will but just bear in mind you can't steal other people's copyrighted images I've got I've got an unsplash which is free to use I mean you can get away with it but if somebody clicks on it they may end up suing you or demand at least demanding you take it down so it's best to use a bit of prudence when using online images so let's just quickly do this other slider and I'll go to unsplash again and we'll choose a different image and we'll just make the slider a little bit different let's use this one again left click till it pops out in a light box right click copy image address background image add image insert from URL paste it in there insert into post that one's fairly legible I don't think I'm gonna mess with that one and um, let's just add a YouTube video or something to it as well image video let me get a YouTube video URL and again insert from URL this is the YouTube video URL hit insert into post and there's a YouTube video okay the only other thing I want to do we've done that second slide now let's make this slide automatically so I'm going to go to design right down to the bottom animation I'm going to say automatic animation at the moment it's set to seven seconds seven thousand milliseconds I'm gonna set it to five seconds there we go I'm gonna leave that off because I, I want it to stop when people hover on it so let's just save that save our page changes save the draft or publish the page whatever you want to do let's exit our visual builder and there we have it there's our full width slider built with online images from a URL like I say that's a great little thing to do and you can do it from just about any image you can see online do use a bit of prudence though get uh, images that you're allowed to use but of course it opens up a whole new world of images when you do it this way so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.